Hello everyone. So last week we have been studying about acidity, and this week we mo- we move to oxygen. And before we go to oxygen, we're gonna review the twenty questions that we have been studying. In here, uh, we can find a record of uh, what we have been uh, studying and the explanations for each questions. So the first question, most foods have a pH level close to seven, making them highly acidic. A- acidic. It's false because most food are almost neutral with pH value to close to seven, which is not highly acidity. So it is neutral food. Number two. Food with high nutrition and moisture content are less prone to spoilage. It's false because with high nutrition and moisture, it provides an ideal environment for microbial growth. So it makes microbes have more things to eat in, in inside of the food. So it's false. Number three. Many types of bacteria, mold, yeast can grow in food with low moisture content. It is false because microbes require moisture to grow. So food with low moisture is less conductive for microbial growth. So it need moisture. So it can grow, but not like many. Number four. The production of acid by microbes is the primary reason many foods spoil by going sour. It is true because the acid from released by microbes is responsible for making the food sour. Number five, microbial fermentation is commonly used in the production of buttermilk, mature cheese, yogurt. And uh, German sausages. So it is true because it's the in the process of making this food, it contribute to the flavor and the texture, like uh, of the the food. So the fermentation is the key process here. So we have to remember like those uh, kind of food have fermentation. Number six, lowering the pH of food products by adding acids such as vinegar can extend the shelf life. Here, the answer is true because reducing the pH of food products through the addition of acids can inhibit the growth of many bacteria. So it helps to reduce the growth of the bacteria. Therefore, it will help to make the shelf life longer. Number seven, the acidity of a food product is unrelated to its susceptibility to spoilage. It's false because the acidity affect significantly. Number eight, food with high moisture content are less likely to support microbial growth. Uh, it's false because the previous um, question also proved that with because uh, microbes need moisture so more moisture will be helping the microbes uh, like grow so it is like not less it is more number nine buttermilk is produced without the involvement of microbial fermentation it's false because it's through the ferment by fermenting the milk and then we have butter milk. Number 10, vinegar is primarily used in food production to enhance flavor, not to extend shelf life. It also extends shelf life because it lowers the pH level and make the bacteria less growing. Number 11, foods with a neutral pH are immune to spoilage. It's still susceptible to spoilage because 
uh, if they have high nutrition and moisture content. Okay. Number 12, food with low nutrition content are less likely to spoil. Here, the answer is true because it's less attractive to microbes. Okay. Number 13, the production of acid by microbes is the primary reason many foods become bitter when spoiled. So it is becoming sour, not bitter. Number 14, micro, microbial fermentation is used in the production of the traditional pickles. Okay, so we have one more food from the fermentation process. Number 15, foods with high moisture content are likely to go sour. Here the answer is false. Food with high moisture content are less likely to go sour because they provide a favorable environment for acid product uh, producing microbes. So it is more likely, not less likely. The number 16, lowering the pH of food products can enhance the flavor but has no impact. We already discussed about this in the previous. Number 17, adding vinegar to food always increase the pH level. So it's not increase, it's decrease. And less pH, it means it more acid. Number 18, the acidity of food products is determined solely by the presence of microbes so it has its false because it had many um, various factor okay so including the type and the amount so not just microbes number 19 food with low moisture content are ideal for microbial growth it's false. It should be like um, like less because without the moisture, it's less growth. Number 20, vinegar is primarily used in the food production to enhance color. So here they add more information color too. So uh, it also improves the shelf life. Yeah, in addition to the enhancing flavor, color, and self-life. So three, three of the effects of adding the vinegar. Okay, so let's start to oxygen. A few moments later. Yo, hello everyone. So um, we will do oxygen test and we practice around 20 questions now. All microbes require oxygen for reproduction. All. So I think this word all is false. Yes. And and uh, aerobic microbes can only grow in oxygen free condition. So anaerobic microbes don't need oxygen, oxygen free. Yeah, I think it's true. Yes. Salted mushrooms are preserved well in the presence of oxygen. Salted mushroom. I think so. Yeah. Because. Yeah. No. Salted mushroom. What? What is the salted mushroom? I don't know about that. Packaging prevent the growth of all microbes that came into contact with food before packaging I think the word all here is false yes perishable food in sealed packaging do not require refrigeration in a sealed packaging I think so because in the in the supermarket they they also like have canned food and stuff so let's try no so it always requires refrigeration 
temperature tables provide the information on the lowest permitted storage temperature for different food group. Yes. What? The lowest. Ah, the highest. Yeah, the highest. Like maximum six degree. Okay, I was wrong this one. If packaging is damaged, air and dirt cannot enter as wrong. Of course. Lick. Key packaging is more likely to support the growth of anaerobic microbes. Anaerobic microbes need oxygen free. It means it doesn't require oxygen. So leaky packaging will make oxygen go into. So it's false. Yes. Prepackaged cheese can never de develop mold in a sealed Ceiling is if the ceiling is tight. Never. This word is wrong. I think. Yeah. Aerobic uh, microbes includes mold, some bacteria, and some yeast. Yeah. Yes. And uh. Anaerobic microbes can grow in both. I don't think it's both because it's anaerobic. So it's only non oxygen, like oxygen free, so it's false. Yes. Salted mushrooms are likely to mold in oxygen free condition. I, I'm not sure about this salted mushroom, like the mushroom they put salt and put in a sealed package. So sealed package will have no oxygen. So yes, I think so. No. What? Okay. I think we need to look for the explanation next time. Packaging alone ensure. No, it's not alone. Require temperatures and stuff. Seal packaging can prevent the self of all, all types of microbes. No, because some microbes that doesn't require oxygen, so even sealed it's not. Yeah. Low temperatures are essential for preserving the quality of packaged perishable food. Yes. Temperature table provide information about recommended cooking temperatures. Okay, it sounds true. No. Okay. Not not for cooking. Leaky packaging is likely to support my if it allows. Yes. Packaging is always a full proof barrier against contamination. Always. It's false. Mold growth on prepacked cheese is always a sign of contamination. Like, yeah. But sometimes, like, cheese, they have also mold. So it's not always the word always here is wrong. Yeah. The final question. Sealed packaging is effective at preventing all types of microbial mi microbial growth. All types false. Yes. Okay. So um we have few wrong questions in here and also like uh, about salted mushroom so next week we're gonna take a look at the um, explanation and yes thank you